Hello viewers, this is Evelyn of Livable High. Today I will be sharing to you how to propagate basilis. Basil? In Sweden we call it uh, basilica. Uh, basilis or basilis in English. Anyway, this is the one that I will be uh, planting now. There are actually a lot of ways of propagating basil leaves. Number one is by seeds. When you do it by seeds, it takes quite a long time because I have it, but I have inside a inside a house. But anyway, it's like for two weeks, your 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 uh, your propagation of basil leaves and seeds will be just like an inch. Uh, so there is actually a very quick way of doing it where you can immediately have big plants not just for uh, to take like a month or two but like but after like two weeks three weeks you have already a plant that is already grown so first of all i have here my my uh, dirt or the soil that i will be using and this soil i bought it here in sweden you buy soil <laughs> in the philippines you just pick somewhere else in the forest and then you have your soil uh, that is a very good quality but here you have to buy it and uh, so if you plant a lot it's really it, it costs but anyway this is a very good this is already like a mix that is very good for planting and it is for plants inside and outside but anyway if you're interested you just go to any garden stores and they can really recommend and you can really find their different kinds of uh, soil that you can use so i will choose here one that i like uh, this is uh, a pot that is made of clay and uh, doesn't matter if you can also have pots that is made of plastics uh, what i do is that if i buy plants they come in this kind of uh, planters i don't throw them i save them and uh, you can also even just wash them you know but anyway i will start immediately now if you wonder how i did this two weeks ago i bought this and it was a lot of leaves growing i normally like to have basil leaves in my spaghetti sauce or whatever pasta recipe it's uh, basil leaves is very very good uh, but anyway this one doesn't look so good before it was a lot of leaves here so i was thinking i want to propagate some of it and some of it i actually use for my spaghetti sauce but now it looks like this why i forgot to i forgot to water it but anyway i had already already taken from this i had already taken taking uh took i took already cutting so what you do you know they're growing like that so you just you just cut them i will show you the best way to cut them when you cut uh, when you propagate by cutting you have to be sure that you cut on the area where it's like near the node and the node is like you know where i will show you where there's a plant growing here if it's like this like that the node is actually this one you know where there is a branch growing so you just you you cut it just below it a half inch or like three millimeters below and that is what i did because that is where uh, usually the roots will grow immediately so as you see this is only two weeks two weeks <clears throat> some people will say that you have to put you know a heater under or you know like an artificial light you will only do it if you don't have <clears throat> a window where you can <clears throat> they can get sunlight but i put this in a window where there was a lot of sunlight so after two weeks the the roots really develops like this i mean you 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 even forget them you know so i have this already for two weeks and that's how it looks like so i will show you that every plant has already a lot of roots so if i am propagating this or like by seeds then it's kind of like half of a centimeter or one centimeter for two weeks but this one 
you have it already and basilids they are very generous they grow very well especially if they get enough sunlight and they get a very good quality of of soil you know a soil that it will really absorb and then just don't forget to water it and so now what i will do is just very simple you just take your and put it here uh, by the way for those who doesn't know <laughs> while i'm doing this i will be talking to you uh, it's actually now like end of april what is the date now it's like the last week of april but we still have cold we only have seven degrees celsius here outside that is why i still have thick thick clothes on me uh, so we we have a sunny day but uh, it's still very cold so this is how easy it is you just do like that and like that and then what you do is just you just press it gentle do not press it very hard that it will the the the, the soil cannot breathe they have to breathe you know <laughs> like us human beings we have to breathe so now you have it there what you're gonna do is just take one you can decide how many of these you want to plant in one of these but me i think i will put like two of them because i want this to you know like it's a lot in them basilids are very good and in after summer if you have plenty of them then you can actually freeze them you can chop them and freeze them or just freeze them immediately so you can actually harvest the leaves and freeze them or you can even just you know harvest them make the sauce ahead of time while your basil leaves are still fresh and then make a lot of sauce out of it yeah i just love this the aroma of basil leaves I, I i really like them in in pasta and so you have it there of course i i, I think i i don't have to really show it very well there uh, how i put it because i think everybody knows how to plant something what you're gonna do is more like when you plant it this kind of plant it's okay like the root is there and you really plant it deep it doesn't matter because the stems of it it will continue to uh, how do you say it? it will continue to produce leaves and yes so it's there one thing i want to share to you is that if you have basil leaves like this this will grow maybe like this what you do is that you can actually already consume some of the leaves and they like it too why i will show you when you have these basil leaves like this after three weeks or two weeks from now this will grow higher so what you do you cut it off you cut it off you just cut it like in the middle of two nodes one node is there you know node is the one where you, this kind of the leaves grow that is the node and the other node is here right so what you do is just you cut it just above the node why above the node above the node it's because you want these small ones to grow so you have to cut it above it like here so that area you will consume it you will use it and the other air and 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 then after like a week or two again those small leaves growing there in the node will grow and it will create more uh, branches so that is how you make like you might wonder oh that is a very nice basil leaves and it's like it's really growing and it produces a lot more branches and that is the result of cutting and it applies to any other plants once you cut it just be sure to cut it above the node do never cut it like very far below or below the node or in the middle between two nodes uh, because in the node that is where all those leaves and branches will grow so they will grow and they will grow more wider which you can have um, more leaves on your basil leaves so basil leaves is actually a very good uh, spice uh, 
uh, fresh spice to use because you can use it in anything uh, if some of you don't haven't uh, tried it yet you try to make um, you know mozzare mozzarella how do you say it correctly mozzarella or mozzarella you know this kind of uh, cheese that uh, is soft uh, this is very good to have you know you slice it in cubes and you put one leaf on it and then combine it with with the uh, tomato and eat it together uh, so basilisk plus tomato plus the mozzarella it's so delicious it's it's kind of kind of food where you can actually have it like pick food during you know uh, during parties and it's just so refreshing and it's just delicious and very simple to make so i hope i was able to share to you a very simple propagation which is very short and very fast the propagation of basil leaves uh, that in cuttings that it already looks like this so if i had just uh, seeds i cannot have like this for after a week i know that this is not free you pay for it but instead that every week you buy this thing why not just cut off some of the cuttings and plant it after two weeks but be sure you put it in a in a cup mug whatever container of water so it's just water just put it there and be sure to put it like near the window uh, because like as of now it's cold you cannot have it outside when it's cold of course in asian country they grow everywhere they grow outside they grow everywhere but if you are in a country where you have four seasons especially here in sweden <laughs> i think we only have two two three months that it's hot or warm <laughs> the rest is just cold you know so most of our vegetables are actually imported that is that is the thing why it's so expensive to live in sweden and uh, so that how it looks like it's just very simple that's how the leaves grow isn't it amazing you know after two weeks and the and the roots are just growing crazy and they are very easy to propagate so do it by cuttings it's just like put some money on like this you buy and then take some cuttings of it the rest you consume it and there you go you have more basil leaves or basil plant whatever so basilica and uh, anyway i would like to thank you for watching this video again and for those who are not yet my subscriber don't hesitate to subscribe now because you will learn a lot my channel you know it's whatever <laughs> whatever i can think before i was like focusing on something but now i was thinking no why not just make it leave a buhai channel a channel where i share i share what i can what i know what i learn i share it to you planting you know any information that i can share i will do it and i just hope you continue to support my channel and for all my supporters thank you so much for you know how many years now two years uh for supporting my channel and not skipping the ads <laughs> that's how we live for our uh, youtube we're helping each other you know anyway see you again for my next video this is evelyn of livable high thank you for watching